Hi Kashish, so you had a doubt regarding one of the questions in decision making. Sir, uh, do we have to consider the opportunity cost of not producing row 16 1B like we did in 1A? Now your question in this particular case was all about this question, question number 64. Now let me explain you a few of the things. Our maximum capacity was 10,000 units of row 60 and that is whatever we were trying to be using also. We had capacity of 10,000, we were using that uh, capacity. In part 1A, we got an offer of 2,000 units of orange 60. In case we wish to be making it, we don't have any spare capacity. So therefore, we need to be sacrificing 2,000 units of row 60 to be making 2,000 units of orange 60. Hence, there is opportunity cost. But in 1B, what those guys have told you over here, it is now known that overtime working is not possible and that installation of the new capacity, if it is desirable to do, will cost the coming 28,000 with economic life of 2 years. Now in part 1B, you are going to be increasing your capacity. So now I will be making 10,000 units of row 60 that I was making. And now in this particular case, you are going to be, you are going to be making 2,000 units of orange 60 extra. So therefore, your relevant cost will be two things. First, you're going to be making 2000 units of orange 60. Find out its variable cost that you all did. Second, increase in the installation cost. That is the only thing. Because now we are not going to be losing any contribution from row 60 because we are increasing our capacity only. So row 60 in any case will be getting produced. But now we increase our capacity so that even orange 60 can be produced. Okay, so no opportunity cost. Okay, I hope that answers your doubt. Thank you.